Hi, my name is Eve. I'm founder and managing partner of the Python Quants Group. Among others, we provide datapark.io, which allows data science in the browser. Today, I want to show you how to use the IPython notebooks and Python scripts that accompany my book, Python for Finance, published by O'Reilly. You simply have to go to the website o'reilly.quant-platform.com. If you haven't registered yet, you should click on the registration page link and here you can register. This should only take a few seconds. And you have to confirm that you've read and accept the terms and conditions as well as our privacy policy. Then simply click on the register button. I save the password for convenience and click on the to the login page button. Here I now have to provide my username and my password. And that's already it. You are now locked in on the Python Quant platform and you find all the code which means Python scripts as well as IPython notebooks in the folder that is called pi for phi. Clicking on that, you see that there are two subfolders, IPython and Python. In IPython, you find the IPython notebooks where you see that the leading number represents the chapter of the book. You can now, for example, click on this notebook, on the visualization notebook which is from chapter five of the book. And you see that this has been executed already. Scrolling down, you see the single graphics that are presented in chapter five of the book. So you have already all the contents, but you can also execute it by yourself. To this end, I clear the output, go back to the beginning and what you can do here, for example, to generate plots which are a little bit nicer and a little bit more modern, let's say, you can uncomment this particular line which uses the Seaborn plotting library. And I can now execute the iPad notebook cell by cell by clicking on a particular cell and then clicking Shift Return. So here we go, cell by cell. And the first plot is generated in the third cell. Here you can see the output. And you see already that it's uh, a little bit of a different design than the default uh, matplotlib design. So you can go cell by cell, execute one after the other. But you don't need to go cell by cell. You can also, for example, execute the cells in a batch run, so to say, by clicking in this particular case run all below, then all cells below your cursor position, below your current cell, get executed and you see that this um, particular Python notebook gets executed rather quickly and you find all the graphics now in a little bit of a different styling. In same fashion, you can use the other Ipython notebooks as provided here on the left hand side. But let us check the Python scripts. To this end, I open the file manager. I can now navigate down to the Python folder. And here, for example, on this level, you see a single Python script. Double clicking on it opens the editor and you see the Python code from this particular script. You can also navigate more downwards here in the subfolder DXA you find the single Python scripts as presented in the third part of the book, which is about a simplified version of our DX analytics library. And you can, for example, open this particular file. This is the file that presents the class for the simulation of the geometric Brownian motion. In this way, you can use all the IPython notebooks and as you can see here, also the Python script can inspect them, can adjust them, can play around, can adjust parameters and generate different graphics, for example. So feel free to play around with it. 
um, and uh, the Python Quant platform provides everything that you need to use the stuff that is presented in the book. As a final note, I want to point you to our um, open source library, which is called DX Analytics. You find it under this URL, dx-analytics.com. Uh, this implements the models and uh, methods presented in my other book, Derivatives Analytics with Python, as well as, uh, in a more sophisticated way, the stuff that is presented in part three of Python for Finance. Um, as a library, you can use it rather flexibly and you can build your own derivatives and risk analytics applications with it. That's it for today. My name is Eve. I'm founder managing partner of the Python Quants Group. I hope you have fun reading the book and using the stuff presented in there. And I would love to hear your feedback if you have any. Thank you.